Okay, so this is the sensory organization test. This is the first test we usually do during computerized dynamic posturography balance testing. So um, the first part of the test is just the patient standing as still as they can with their eyes open for 20 seconds. And then the second part is standing as still as you can with your eyes closed for 20 seconds. And the whole time the floor is um, assessing for any weight shifting um, to determine how you're using your hip and ankle strategies and then how well you're able to balance with each of these conditions. Um, condition three is eyes open, but the walls might move. Condition four is eyes open, but the floor might move. Condition five is eyes closed and the floor might move. And then condition six is eyes open and the walls and the floor might move. So this is condition three with the walls possibly moving um, and our patient's eyes will be open. So Jill, this is condition three, eyes open, the walls might move, and I'll begin the test starting now. Okay, I'll stop the test. So normally that would go on for another 10 seconds and then we would do that same condition twice. So now let's go to condition four, just so you can see how the floor might move. So Jill, it'll be eyes open for 20 seconds. The floor might move. I'll begin the test starting now. Okay, and I'll stop the test. Normally, like I said, that would go on for 20 seconds and we would do two trials of each test. The purpose of this test is to assess the function of all three of our balance systems. We use our eyes for balance, our inner ears for balance, and the feeling in our feet and legs to tell us where we are in space and how we're moving in space. So once we do this test, we can figure out which of those balance systems are working well and which ones may need a little improvement and that will um, guide our treatment sessions.